G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. So as the title of the video says, is DeFi a bubble ready to go pop? It's a little bit of a hard question to sort of answer, but I suppose uh, my overall evaluation of DeFi is no, it's not a bubble. But there's definitely bubble aspects of it. And I guess that's a bit of an oxymoron and that's going to be hard for people to kind of wrap their head around at first, but I'll explain to you. So what we need to have a do have a do, have a do here. Sorry, excuse me. What we need to do here is have a look how DeFi has been growing. And look, no doubt about it, it is going sort of exponential at the moment. We went from I think it was one point something billion to we got up around two billion. We we're at three billion, like not even that long ago, and now we're nearly at four billion dollars. So there is absolutely exponential growth happening in DeFi at the moment. But there are a couple of things that we need to keep in mind. So yes, it's definitely growing. And uh, Aave, Ave, depending on what you want to call it, I think it's Aave is how it's pronounced. They are absolutely on a rip tear at the moment. And Synthetics, uh, one of my favorites, uh, has fallen down a little bit, a uh, bit of a shame, but that's right. Synthetics was on a massive run. Obviously it was gonna pull back at some stage. And it's had a reasonable pullback at the moment. I guess depending how you look at it, I think it's had a reasonable pullback. It was up a lot higher and now it's a little bit lower, but are they, yeah, really making a move and, you know, closing in on compound? Uh, but Maker has really started to, you know, gain some traction now that uh, Ethereum's uh, price is going up. Uh, Maker wasn't too far ahead of compound, not before, uh, not too long ago. I think compound may, might have even overtaken it for a moment there. But anyway, I'm getting off track a little bit. So let's have a look at this. 3.78 billion so that's a fair amount and again we've done that fairly quickly but you know 3.78 billion let's go over to here coin market cap our total market cap is 295 billion dollars in cryptocurrencies so we're talking about not even you know it's like point two percent or something like that I, I don't know i'd have to do the math I'll, I'll have to try and figure that out it's basically four percent of a hundred billion uh and so it's half of that so yeah i think it's about sort of around about sort of two percent it's two percent of the total market cap so you know can you call something that's two percent of a complete market cap a bubble uh, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think so. I think there's definitely some things in there that are troubling me, and we're about to get onto. But I think overall, the good projects inside DeFi, they have a mile to go, an absolute mile. We're only just maybe starting a bull run now. You know, the prices have gone up, and we'll go back and we'll have a quick look, and we can see where Bitcoin. 9,600. So we still haven't been able to break that kind of 9,800 and definitely the $10,000 level. But Ethereum, that's really starting to pump. So 300, over $300 now. It's back around the 240, $250, $260 per Ethereum for quite some time. But just in the last 24 hours, it's up 6%. So we haven't even really started to pump yet. So once we do start to pump and this gets up to you know, let's say it gets to a trillion dollars, and I'm quite confident it's going to go over a trillion dollars. Four billion of a trillion dollars is nothing, and that uh, that amount is going to grow as well, and grow exponentially. So again, when we talk about is DeFi a bubble? No, I don't think it's a bubble, but there's elements of it that are of a concern, and I'm going to move on to that now. This is what concerns me about DeFi, and it's not DeFi uh, by itself, but it's the yield farming. So it's basically people uh, leveraging from one platform off another, off another, off another. And it's basically going bound, around in this big uh, secular circle sort of thing. 100% annualized uh, yields and things like that. That is a worry. Now arbitrage has been around for ages and you know, good traders, they use arbitrage all the time. But the arbitrage at the moment in the DeFi space, yeah, it, it concerns me, particularly if you've, you know, put some into Aave and then gone to RenBTC and then gone to the one exchange and then gone to somewhere else to get these returns. If one of those platforms has a bug or some kind of issue or goes down, all of a sudden, it's like a, 
a de- uh, house of cards all falling down at the same time. So that is what concerns me at the moment. We can go over here to Twitter, and when you put in DeFi, there's just tons of DeFi stuff at the moment. DeFi, 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 DeFi. Now I'm following it. I still believe in DeFi. It's not that I don't. But we'll go back here. It's this yield farming that does concern me. But the gentleman who uh, wrote this did make a point when we go right down to the bottom. So where are we here? So, um, considering the average bank saving account interest rate is 0.1% and DeFi products can yield 100 plus percent annualized yields, are these products inherently a thousand times riskier? He says probably not. And thus, and thus, savvy investors and traders are cashing in on these arbitrage opportun- opportunities. These rates will naturally decline over time as the space grows in size and volume and DeFi products become battle-tested and hardened. Until then, DeFi yield farming will serve as a catalyst increasing user adoption and, acclimat- and acclimat- acclimating users to the notion of unbanking themselves. Now, I do kind of agree with that. And that's what makes me think it's not in a complete bubble. Well, it's not a bubble at all at the moment. It'll get to a bubble type stage, no doubt. And then it'll, well, not a bubble. No, because bubbles pop. It'll obviously get to a point where it's just way overvalued. uh, And then it'll definitely have a massive retracement. But I don't think we're anywhere near that. And again, the the platforms that do get uh, battle tested and become hardened, they're going to be around for the long haul. And again, I think synthetics is one of them, but that's not financial advice. That's just my personal opinion. I definitely see them being around for a while. I see uh, Kyber Network. I see them being around for uh, quite a long time. Uh, and again, they're things that I've invested into. And you know, Aave, yep. Uh, Ren BTC, yep. I definitely think they're going to be around in the future as well. But that's no guarantee. But it's once you're leveraging from one platform off another, off another, off another, off another. That is what really concerns me. We have some kind of you know bug in one of those, and all of a sudden, as I said, it's like a, a house of cards. It's all just going to start falling down and around us. So that concerns me. But if I go back to the start, is DeFi a bubble ready to pop? No, it's not a, d- a bubble ready to pop. But is there a house of card thing forming in here that could fall down? Absolutely, 100%, and that's what concerns me. I don't do any yield farming. Uh, I don't really know enough about it, but again, I, I'm, you know, I have enough intelligence to look and go, right, if I'm you know, leveraging off several different platforms, if one of those platforms has an issue, then all of a sudden all the others fall down. And if you've leveraged yourself, you know, as they say, kind of to the yin-yang, <laughs> and one of them falls down and it's not paying that return to pay the other one, all of a sudden you could find yourself losing a lot. Now, likewise, the price of the platforms uh, could all go down if there becomes a major kind of fault in there. So just be mindful of uh, getting into DeFi. I I think it's a great space, and I think it's where the biggest gains are going to be made in this next bull run. But, you know, you need to do your own research and find out, you know, which of these programs you believe in, which of these platforms you believe in, and what you think is going to be around. Because, yes, they are going to come you know, have a retracement and come down in price at some stage, but then they'll go back up and then they'll come down and then they'll go back up and then they'll come down the normal market cycle. But only the good ones will last. The other ones will be fly-by-night stuff. And you can just basically have a look at all the uh, different kind of uh, DeFi programs and platforms that are coming out at the moment. So, So that concerns me. Make sure you do some research. Something else that I found interesting here over on Coin De- on Coin Telegraph is Liquid Exchange confirms uh, asset D listings due to regulate regulatory requirements. So you know we celebrated yes uh, not yesterday the other day uh, about you know crypto finally being legitimized uh, and it being a real thing, but with legitimacy comes these regulatory requirements. So Liquid it's one of Japan's uh, biggest exchanges. They have had to remove a whole stack of uh, coins and uh, things like that from their platform. And one of them was Zcash. Uh, They removed Zcash because it's a privacy coin. So for all the, you know, the good that happens, there's going to be some sort of bad that happens as well. And, you know, that's disappointing for Zcash. They've been around for a while and they're, you know, pretty well trusted and uh, liked. And the fact that they're being removed from an exchange uh, isn't great for... uh, that project in general but this is just one
platform at the moment. That's not to say all the other, sorry, exchanges. That's not to say all the other exchanges will do it. And something else I reported on a while ago. So Binance uh, bought out Swipe, uh, and that's a card issuer. Well, Binance are now, not are now, they have brought out their own debit card. So if you're part of the Binance uh, space, you know, <laughs> yeah, you use Binance and all that, you can now get a crypto card and you can spend your crypto. That's massive news for uh, Binance. You know, they're now starting to compete with uh, CRO and things like that and all the other, you know, spaces that are going to come out and do exactly the same. Everyone's going to have their crypto cards and things like that. You know, Fold App, they got their crypto card uh, that's been released. So, yeah, good on your Binance. Well done. And at some stage, you know, we will be spending crypto. At the moment, everyone's just buying it and hodling it and yield farming it. Uh, but at some stage, uh, you will have to spend it. Uh, and this card will go a long way to doing that. So anyway, that's my thoughts on DeFi and whether I think it's a bubble. No, a house of cards that, you know, there might be parts of it that'll fall down. Yes, I am concerned about that. Uh, and, you know, uh, regulation, obviously coming after exchanges and uh, platforms that may not be completely legit. And well done, Binance. Good on you for getting that card out. All right, that's it from me today. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're still making some gains at the moment. And I'll see you next time.